hello guys welcome back to my channel so for this video like the title suggests i'll be talking about gestational diabetes okay so um, i was diagnosed with gestational diabetes uh, in my 30th week of pregnancy so uh, normally the diabetes may test me they are can bought between 24 weeks boleh buat sudah up to 30 weeks so mine got delayed a little bit because saya salah puasa so actually have to puasa paling lama 8 jam dari malam sebelumnya terus the next day pergi test di hospital tapi saya terlebih puasa uh, selama 10 jam so tidak boleh kena test so I have to wait another 2 weeks for my appointment Baru dong boleh test. And when I went for the test, uh, saya sudah expect untuk minum air gula lah uh, untuk test uh, gestational diabetes. Tapi bila saya masuk, tunas cucuk, and then check darah saya, saya punya level was 5.5. So, uh, time tu nurse bilang, oh, kau diabetes sudah. <laughs> Doktor terus bagi tahu kena diet control. So, what is gestational diabetes? Gestational diabetes berlaku uh, bila placenta dia akan produce a hormone yang uh, stop the insulin from working effectively. So insulin is a hormone that regulates uh, glucose level dalam badan kita lah. Okay, so after kena diagnosed with GDM, saya uh, doktor cakap have to kasih kurang makan benda yang glucose ataupun carbs because carbs akan bertukar jadi glucose. Okay, so the normal uh, level is 4.9 to 6. Nurse bagi tau lah. So, so I try to maintain 4.9 to 6. And uh, after kena diagnose tu, uh, doctor akan recommend untuk beli machine yang check glucose level supaya kita boleh kira buat homework lah. Okay, so this is the machine that I use to check my glucose level. This is the strip. It comes with 50 strips, so kasih masuk dalam the machine and dia akan automatic on. So the blood will be dropped on the strip. So this is where the needle is placed. Di dalam ada 6 needles and I've already used 3. So this one indicates ada berapa needles tinggal lah di dalam. And Sini, I'm telling that tidak boleh buka because once buka, the needle tu tidak boleh pakai sudah. So, di bawah ni is the number that indicates how many mm the needle will come out when you're poking your finger. So, this is where the hole, where the needle will come out from. So, here I'm just using an alcohol swab and kasi lap whichever finger yang sama cucu. Just make sure it's clean and then just poke it with the needle holder too. Mula-mula tu sakit tapi lama-lama biasa sudah tidak berapa feel lah. So lepas pakai satu needle, just kasih move so you know tinggal dua needle. Picit the blood out. So here I made a mistake actually. Terlampau sikit blood. So you can see. The machine will tell you that you need to retest with a new strip kalau tidak cukup blood. And you would want to avoid this because sayang the strip. The strip actually quite mahal. So tekan on the side button, the strip will come out. And I'll place in a new strip and pitch it more blood so that it will be enough for the test. So bila enough tu dia akan terus analyze. And you'll know your glucose level. So here it's 5.5. So strip ni ada 50. Needle tu ada 120 needles. Every day tu kena check. Uh, dia akan bagi masa. Sama ada pagi. Atau after breakfast. After lunch. Or pre-dinner. And also pre-bed. So every day tu check at different different times. So, bukan satu hari cucuk empat kali, tidak juga lah. Satu hari, satu kali. But, every day is different, different time. 
pagi itu saya akan makan apa makan awal-awal oh saya makan oats ya yeah, instant oatmeal uh, for my breakfast and then when I check my glucose level it's about 5.4 to 5.6 begitu lunch saya akan makan less saya biasa makan nasi saya makan half nasi dengan lauk ataupun kalau saya makan cheese naan saya makan half itu naan so after lunch tu saya akan check for pre dinner uh, level saya is quite like Uh, stable lah, like 5.5, 5.6 begitu. And then malam saya akan makan uh, sayur dengan telur, hmm, something like that. So dari sana saya punya weight makin turun. Eh, tapi baby punya weight makin naik lah. And glucose level saya uh, tidak pernah limpah 6. Dia memang 5.4, 5.5, paling tinggi 5.7. So after two weeks, I went back to the doctor, and doctor nampak saya punya level tu. Dia bilang it's still too high. Uh, kalau boleh jangan limpas 5.3. Yeah. So saya pun macam yang ah oh, stressnya because. So after that, uh, the first the first day tu, I switched to makan boiled eggs. Yeah. So after research and saya check actually oatmeal instant oatmeal dia tidak sesuai because they are actually high in carbs so that's why in the morning saya punya bacaan tu selalu tinggi tapi bila saya tukar pergi boil eggs bacaan saya akan turun dia jadi macam 4.9 5.1 begitu yeah, 5.7 yes so tidak sampai 5.3 And then for lunch, saya akan makan uh, more tu macam protein, macam ayam dengan fiber, macam sayur. And satu sudu nasi saja. <laughs> so, uh, dengan itu, uh, saya punya level pun dia rendah lah macam dia akan maintain at 5.1, 5.2, 5.3 begitu. Tidak pernah limpas 5.3. And then for dinner, uh, saya akan makan uh, more to protein lah, so macam protein and also sayur. So saya akan makan sayur, uh, sayur goreng dengan telur goreng. Yeah, most of the time. But after a while, pandai macam bosan kan makan benda yang sama saja. So I would try to switch up, uh, makan macam yogurt because uh, dairy is okay. As long as dia tidak sweetened dairy, so macam fresh milk, uh, unflavored, unsweetened yogurt, Greek yogurt pun boleh campur dengan blueberry dengan strawberry. So that's what I had for my snacks lah dengan uh, kacang-kacang. Memang cabaran juga mau kawal makan time pregnant, uh, tapi uh, kalau memang kawal diri tu memang boleh kawal glukos level lah. Cuma kadang-kadang macam I want to introduce a new food into my diet. Let's say I try makan popia because popia kulitnya nipis kan and then makan dengan sayur but still dia pernah naik. So maybe uh, the popia skin is high in carbs begitu. So uh, time kena GDM ni I learn to uh, read about calories I learn to read about carbs and also sugar on the nutritional info on food packaging so banyak belajar lah so that's what I've learned during my gestational diabetes journey and I'm still going through it uh, yeah so wish me luck guys that uh, I don't have to take any medication and the baby and I will be fine uh, yeah I hope you guys uh, good luck juga kalau yang ada gestational diabetes Memang challenge uh, dan juga boleh share apa yang kamu makan uh, untuk kasih kawal kamu punya glucose level. I'm very very curious. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.